and we are here today to have a whole lot of fun with you guys. We're gonna open up a brand new STEM lab for you guys. Having another sub lab in a K-8 Cleveland Public School is really gonna let these kids play with STEM and learn with science hands-on. A lot of them have seen 3D printers before, have seen robotics, but they just see it. They don't get to actually see it in their classroom. They don't get to use it day to day. So this amazing gift that the Cavs and Goodyear has given the district is gonna allow these kids to play with STEM every single day. One of the things that we do is focus on inspiring, especially in STEM education. This is, this is something that we need a lot of STEM employees, and so we want to make sure that we're continuing to feed that pipeline. I talked to the students today about using this space as a place to learn, as a place to explore, and as a place to dream, and really help them understand what their dreams are and what that vision of possibility is for them. What I think about the simulator opening up at the school is that I am very excited to have all these things I never had before. I always liked Legos and then one day I saw it, it had a build your own Lego section in there you can print your own Legos. I'm very happy that I'm learning all this new stuff that I never learned before. Including this, we'll be doing four STEM labs this year. So working with our partners at the school district to identify schools that need a renovated space and a way to learn. And uh, this was our very first one this year. So we're really excited about going throughout the district and making sure all kids have access to learning STEM education on hands-on projects. When we talk about STEM, you automatically think about science and engineering, but it's not just about science and engineering. It's about manufacturing, it's about design thinking, it's about teaching these kids to think in different ways to prepare them for jobs that they don't even know exist yet, that might not even exist yet. And it could really change the trajectory of their lives from a little fun with science in fourth or fifth grade.